I've been in this business a long time, 50 years, probably a little bit more. I was tattooing people when I went to school. When I started, there was one tattoo shop in Sydney. And, uh, I don't know, it just it was something that had probably been passed down through me by old war hero uncles and stuff like that that had them. And I started pinpricking them myself and I started getting the proper ones. And I just got my first one when I was about 14, 15, professional tattoo. I've been in this shop six years. I was across the road for 38. So I've been in this area a long time. As you can see, it's a pretty busy shop. And I've always been busy and enjoy everything I do. Nothing really changes, it's just what people want. And virtually you've got to give them what they want or you won't make any money and you'll sit here doing nothing. Um, come to think of it, the changes are the amount of people that are in the business, some good, some bad, probably all come about through the advent of television shows and stuff like that, but that hasn't made any effect on this studio. The amount of tattoo shops about, I mean, considering I had the only tattoo shop in Sydney for about 25 years. Uh, oh, my style's Japanese, but I do everything, whatever people want, except squiggly lines. Go around at these big things over there, uh, I class them as some of the best. As far as worse goes, I spent a lot of time in the cross, tattooing fools and stuff like that. Uh, you just get them in and get them out, but they got what they wanted. They didn't get any, I didn't go out of my way to do shit tattoos. Recently, I went, me and my son just went to New Zealand for the opening of a tattoo museum in, uh, over there in Wellington, and uh, about one third of the stuff that's in this museum is on me, so that was a bit of a buzz. It's, it's a serious business, and you know, if you're in this just for the fun, you're wasting your time. I'm in it because uh, I was destined to do this.